What's going on, folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. I'm Jordan, your host and guide for this waterfowl season. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the basics, the 101 beginner level of dove hunting. But before we jump into the video, if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, the main gig of this channel is putting out the hunt videos from the beginning of September all the way through end of goose season in February. It is my passion to film all my hunts and put them up here on YouTube. Also guys, if you enjoy listening to duck hunting audio as well, I put out a weekly podcast called The Duck Gun Podcast. My co-host is Elliot from Freelance Duck Hunting and I live stream it here as well every week. So you definitely wanna check that out, Duck Gun Podcast. So one last thing before we jump into today's video, guys stick around to the end. I'm gonna be doing a hat giveaway, the Duck Gun Leather Patch Hat and the Ultimate decal. So stay to the end and you get the details for that. On to the video. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about the basics, the 101 of dove hunting. And guys, by no stretch of the imagination, am I an expert on dove hunting. It's something that I've started to get into um, over the last few years, and, and I wanna share kind of the insight and knowledge from a beginner's perspective. And hopefully I can help you guys who are beginners as well, or maybe even guys who've been doing it for a while. Um, and like I said, yes, I'm a beginner. If you got tips as well, leave them in the comments. Um, and that'll be great. So first off, we'll start off with decoys. Um, and so you guys can get these little clip-on branch decoys, dove decoys on Amazon. Um, I got about a dozen of them. Carry them around in a bag right here, clip-on. I um, mean, even when you can't clip them on anything, I found that if you just push this into the soft dirt um, or find a way to prop them up on the ground, that does great. But that being said, it's better to have them visible if you can get a stick and clip them on them or something like that. Uh, that's really what they're made for. So, you know, it's good to have some of that. Uh, but the main thing right here is you want to have a Dove Mojo. Um, and I know Lucky Duck has a flapper as well. Uh, I don't think it works as good. Um, and I use, I use Lucky Ducks for my duck hunting. But on the pigeon and dove hunting, on the dove hunting for this video, um, I use the Mojo spinning wing decoy. Um, and I use two. Honestly, I'm thinking up to going up to four this year. I really think that having the wings flickering um, is huge for your success on the dove hunting. Um, so, you know, that really wraps up the, de the decoys. That's really all you need is some decoys on the ground or in branches and then having the motion with the spinning wing. I mean, I've seen guys run sets where it's like 50 on the ground and five or six of these. So you gotta do what you gotta do, especially on public land, draw them away from everybody else. Um, and I'm definitely a fan of shooting more birds. So I think I'm gonna go up to four on the spinning wing this year. So the other thing, so the other thing you really need for dove hunting, and you don't have to go with something fancy like this, the Yeti bucket. Um, but this is great, the Yeti bucket, because um, it's got the seat you know, on top. Uh, you got your bucket right here where you can put your gear. Um, you can put anything else you're using for the day inside and carry it out there as your stool um, and be good to go on there. Like I said, awesome solution for that problem but you know you can get the little tiny fold out chairs um, or just like a regular camping chair or something like that anything like that's going to work um, and then you're all set and really with dove hunting you don't need a lot of gear you don't need blinds you don't need um, just any really all uh, all the other stuff you kind of need for duck hunting you're able just to walk out um, and kind of be minimalistic so early season though, you might have to watch out for mosquitoes, the thermocell, things to think about like that. And then plenty of water and snacks if you're gonna stick around for the long haul. Um, and then kind of talking about um, your preseason scouting and in in-season um, hunting, uh, the big things to look for are the food sources. And I know if you're gonna hunt private land, even public land, um, some of the best public land um, sources are the sunflower seeds and again you can get that in private as well but if you can find sunflowers the that is pretty much one of the favorite food sources for doves um, and then the second one i would say is uh, cut wheat fields if you get a cut wheat field and you can get private permission on a farm um, and i got a spot like that last year uh, you could really find 
<laughs> some good doves. The only problem with the one I had last year was it was cut and there was a huge boom uh, and then kind of, um, no, he, then he laid manure on it. And so that was <laughs> right as season came in, he laid manure on it and kind of ruined my chances of having a really good dove shoot out there. So that being said, um, that really does cover the basics. It's just looking for the food source, get, get out there and scout, find where you want to go. On public land, you know, you got to draw or if it's walking, you know, you definitely want to scout out to see um, what the food sources are looking like because from year to year, different plots can have different success rates. And if you have a plot that just the food source did terrible or the deer got on it, um, then that's not going to be one you want to draw for or go out there and set up on. Um, but yeah, guys, get out there, have a lot of fun. Season is almost here. We got um, you know, like T minus 30 days. I, I'm not sure when this video is going to drop, but we're right about at a month out from September 1st. I'm so freaking pumped to get out there on the birds. Enough of this heat. It's evening. I'm filming out here and I'm freaking sweating. So um, that's all I got on the on the dove hunting. But guys, like I said, I'm going to be doing a hat giveaway. Um, this season and the way it's gonna work is the first video I get a hundred likes on if it's this video guys if you get a hundred likes on it awesome um, but it's just gonna carry on um, and we'll get a hundred likes and then I'm gonna set I'm gonna set another goal and uh, when we reach that one I'm gonna just keep giving away hats uh, but this is what I got guys if you don't want to wait for the give out giveaway I've actually had these and been selling them through Instagram Facebook the podcast, everything, and they're actually flying off the shelves. I'm almost out. I feel kind of bad not letting you guys know sooner on the YouTube channel because, I mean, these tan ones are just all about gone. And then the green ones, they've been booming here lately as well. Um, but what I'm doing with all these hats, even the one I'm going to be giving away, is Oak Nuts Decal. If you've been a long time follower of the channel, then you understand the whole story behind how we got the Oak Nuts nickname. Um, so it says Duck Gun. It's got a little Oak Nuts Decal. Uh, decal here in the corner and then it says we know how to scratch out element so uh, if you want them before if you want them you know now not waiting for the giveaway um, you can definitely get them up on the website I'll have it linked here at the bottom of uh, the flyways collective website um, but yeah guys that's all I got for today I'm Jordan Duck and Chronicles we'll see you guys on the next one let's go